called sine of x. On your calculator, graph your function sine of x and make your window so your x's, so your x values are going to go from uh, the school values, right? Negative 2 pi to 2 pi, and your y values are going to go from negative 5 to 5. And hopefully you'll be able to actually see something. If you can't, let me know because then that means you have to change something in your brain. So if you look at sine of x and 5 times sine of x, what happens to that graph? Yeah, he uses fancy words. He said the amplitude changed. You don't need to know amplitude yet. That comes up when we start trig. What happened in more easy terms? Taller. That's a good one. It got taller. Notice all the places on your graph where it ran into the x-axis, it still runs into the x-axis. But where your gra previous graph went only up to 1, your graph 5 times sine of x goes up to 5. So it's higher. Where your previous graph only went down to negative 1, you now go down to negative 5. So it's lower. It's gotten stretched out vertically. So when your, when your number is bigger than 1, it's going to be a vertical stretch, and we say it's away from the x-axis, because whatever's on the x-axis doesn't go anywhere. Because when you multiply 0 times 5, you don't get any bigger. But everything that's not on the x-axis gets pulled away from the x-axis. I used to do this with silly putty, but I can't find good silly putty anymore. I can't you know, do the silly putty thing with the cartoon comic strip. You see, look, it's a vertical stretch. Because silly putty works exactly this way. What if instead of five, I had one fifth? What is that going to do? Yeah, it's going to shrink it vertically. Again, because it's outside. But notice, this number is between 0 and 1. Now, we didn't get to the negative stuff, because like I said, the negative part is a thing all its own. It's the reflecting stuff. The 1 fifth, if you have a number that's between 0 and 1, it is going to vertically shrink your function when it's outside the function. So it's going to vertically shrink your graph. So now instead of going all the way up to 1, it only goes up to 1 fifth. But, but you can barely see it because we're going from negative, one to negative 5 to 5. But the other thing I want to point out is the reason that it's absolutely clear this is vertical is your graph goes up and down how many times in the window that I gave you? Once. Once? Infinite. It goes up. Are you talking about with Cinemax?